Welcome to the OT pregame show as we get you ready for a very important soccer matchup between the second place NAU Lumberjacks and the third place Idaho Vandals. I'm Matthew Jarecki and I'm joined by Susie Conran. Susie, we should have an exciting one on our hands today. Yes, Matt, we really should. Idaho comes in having strung together some really important wins, including a huge win on the road versus Weber State, giving Weber State their first loss of the season. They got help by their senior, Bridget Daly. Taylor Brest had a goal as well, and of course, Michaela Presgrave was on her P's and Q's as she has been all season long. And for NAU, they tried to fend off Idaho as the team's jockey for seeding in the Big Sky playoffs. It's not going to be easy, though. NAU, you know, Idaho's the third place uh, team in the Big Sky. However, it's been a blessing for NAU to play at home. You look at the Big Sky Conference schedule here. They're 2-0 at home. They've only had two home games in the conference. And then when you look at their non-conference schedule, 3-2-1. They've been good there as well. 5-2-1 overall at home. And now NAU gets their last two games of the season at home. Finally, they're going to end their regular season right here in an incredibly high-stakes matchup. Now... What you're probably asking yourself is what are the stakes for this matchup? Well, we see on, we see, uh, we're taping this on a Wednesday right now. So keep in mind that both of these teams have games on Friday. But if you look at the standings as they currently sit, Weber State on top 6-1-1. One, one. They have a game on Friday. NAU 5-0-2. Oh, they have a game on Friday. Idaho 5-1-1. One, one. All of those teams are jockeying for playoff positions. Now, Susie, here's the thing. Both teams have clinched Big Sky tournament bids already. So we're talking about the difference between a two or three seed or a one and two seed for both these teams. That's right. Now the games are Friday are critical. Again, we have uh, Weber State who faces off against Idaho State, the worst team in the conference. And if they win that, they'll have 22 points total. With a loss, they'll stay at 19. That's the last game of Weber State season. So 22 points is as high as they can go. NAU with a win on Friday jumps to 20 points, which would give them a chance to jump to first in the Big Sky with a win versus Idaho. Remember, each point counts, each win counts for three points, a draw is one point, and a loss is zero. And for Idaho State, sitting at 16 points heading into Friday with the Weber State win, Idaho would need to beat Southern Utah and then beat NAU for, their, for a chance at first place in the conference with 22 points. So many implications throughout this weekend in the Big Sky. Even more implications, though, for some of these NAU girls off the field. It is senior day this Sunday for NAU. And for more on that, our very own Lauren Hunt caught up with some of NAU's finest. With NAU soccer season approaching its end, the seniors on the field have endured many ups and downs throughout their time, but are proud of the players they are today. My teammates contributed a lot, I think. If I ever got down as a player, they were always there to lift me up and tell me what I was doing right and how to fix the things I was doing wrong, which obviously helps any player grow, always having your teammates by your side. I think just like believing in the process. There's so many things, like there's so many ups and downs, and I think just believing that you are a good player and you were meant to be here, I think that's what's brought me to the player that I am. Each senior that has gone through his program recognized the impact that Coach Andre Luciano has had on them. Well, I'm going to remember his, him as a father figure. He, my sister went here before me, so I've known him since I was probably 10. So I know that he's always the first person I could call if something goes wrong, and I'm going to miss him as a coach. You know, he always, he always wanted the best. He always pushed us to be the best player that we can be, and so I really appreciate that from him. Even though Luciano is in his 17th season as a coach, watching his team grow and then watching them leave never gets easier. I think that's the toughest thing uh, as a coach is that, you know, my, my role is to try to put the best 11 out on the field, and, and you know, my demands are pretty high, and, and what I'm most proud of is where, uh, where they are right now as players because, uh, you know, they, figure out, they figured out what my specific needs were, and they have absolutely done that their senior senior season, which is what we wanted. With only two more games left in regular season and their college career coming to an end, all three agree that they will leave the program with one very important thing. That this is their family. I think family. Family. I think the friends that I've made on this team, I know they're going to be my friends for the rest of my life. It's really just a bond that just is never going to be broken. Spending close to 24-7 with these girls really like makes you build this friendship and sisterhood that I'll never forget for the rest of my life. This is a program that they've built and uh, that they can be uh, pride in, you know, have great pride in their uniform and they can say they came out of here with a great education and 
great relationships and friendships, and you know, I see that they're best friends. For the overtime, I'm Lauren Hunt. Thank you to Lauren, and it's such an important day for these young ladies. It's also an important day for Coach Luciano. He wants to win bad for his senior girls that have been such an integral part of this program. And how does he do that? How does Idaho, stay, uh, Idaho come in and steal this win? Well, let's hear about that from NAU head coach Andre Luciano and from Idaho head coach Jeremy Clevenger. I think for us, the most critical thing is that we understand that both teams are playing for something massive, uh, which is first and second place in the in the conference and you know it's uh it's a team i think that has a lot to prove and so do we so i think it's going to be a, a a tough battle despite whatever the seating implications are yeah i think mean, it's going to be a battle i we're very aware of uh nau's um performance in the back right now and and their streak of not giving goals up so it's just going to be a battle i think uh you know, with, with two, you know, we got some players that are, are athletic and can do some creative things. And so we're just going to have to be disciplined, um, take our moments when we can. Again, I think, uh, you know, NAU is probably going to limit our chances. And so we just have to uh, be creative, stay, stay the course and, and um, you know, do what we can with those opportunities we get. What about the keys to the game, coaches? You know, I think the, the key is going to be coming off of Friday is the, uh, the, the number of minutes that we're playing. And so uh, we have to do a, a really good job of managing Friday's minutes and then, you know, coming into the game on Sunday. And, you know, there's a, there's a lot uh, at stake and there's a lot of emotions because of senior day. Mm -hmm. And we have to manage that. For Idaho, it starts with their goalkeeper, Michaela Presgrave. We call her Max. She's just, she's just confident. She's poised. She's a senior. Um, she's seen a lot. Um, and she's just very confident right now. And I think... Two, we also have a, a very experienced back line as well. Um, three seniors uh, are, are in the back line for us, and I think they do a good job of protecting her at times as well. So it's, it's an experienced group um, in that area, and um, she has a lot of confidence right now. Idaho's a dome team, and this game could feature rain, but both coaches played it coy about any weather advantage. Does one team have a little bit of a you know, significant advantage? Yes and no. I, 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 I think that's stuff that uh, coaches create in their heads to, to you know, justify a, a loss, and, and I, I, I don't buy into that. I think both teams have to both step out on the field and, and play in the same environment. Anytime you go into a new environment, there's always going to be challenges. Um, but at this point in the season, um, you know, we're kind of comfortable with going with whatever whatever's thrown at us. So I don't think it will be too much of an issue on that aspect. Those two coaches were so gracious with their time before what will undoubtedly be a high-stress week for both of them. Well, we've talked to the coaches. We've heard from NAU senior Susie. Let's get into some of the star players in this matchup. Well, Matt, it's going to start with the two goalkeepers. We have Taryn Benham, Michaela Pressgrave, two absolute monster goalkeepers. Both have an 81% save rate. Benham leads the big sky in shutouts this season. Michaela Pressgrave is not far behind, and you hear their coaches talk about them. Their teams have all the trust in the world that these two girls can do, putting themselves between the ball and the back of the net. Here's the big difference. Benham is only a sophomore, yet she leads the back line like a savvy veteran. And Pressgrave is a senior. She reached four shutouts or more each of the last two years. She's got an experience edge over Benham. Nevertheless, it'll take some high-powered offense to get it past either one of these girls tonight. And Susie, it isn't just about the goalkeepers. It's about the back lines too. NAU's in particular. Coach Luciano has been ranting and raving about it since before the season got started. It truly is the strength of NAU. It's one of the reasons Taryn Benham has been able to put up so many shutout performances this year. And what do they do well? Well, they're fast, they're experienced, they're senior, junior heavy. And here's what it really comes down to. Amanda Bennett. Victoria Cooper, two seniors absolutely lock down both edges of NAU's defense. It is extremely difficult to get past either one of these girls for a cross into the middle. NAU, though, is facing their toughest test of the season with names like Maya Marino, Bridget Daly, Kayla Watanabe, Morgan Crosby, all multi-goal scorers on the year, all a part of what makes Idaho the third highest scoring team in the big sky. NAU, Idaho has figured out a way to score on tough opponents all year. Amanda Bennett, Victoria Cooper, Taryn Benham, they're going to have their hands full. 
All right, it's time for some film study. What exactly is NAU going to do to put the pressure on Idaho? Let's dump, jump into the film to find out. So we're looking at NAU's last home game versus Sacramento State. This goal here starts with Ari Gonzalez winning the loose ball, something Coach Luciano's been on these girls about from the beginning of the season. Look, she hesitates here, looks around, finds a way to try to swing the ball across to the other side of the field, away from the defense, and here's the critical part. The ball's deflected, but Victoria Cooper has the awareness to control the ball, push it forward, and just get a shot on net. It's what NAU needs to do versus Idaho State's great back line, great goalkeeper, and you see it there. It leads to a Kayla Turhune goal. Here it is in real time. Cross it. She'll, she will cross it. Good step there. Victoria Cooper moves up. Good look. She's going to shoot. Nice. There we and go. And it's going to be a goal Perfect. for NAU Kayla Turhune with her third goal of the season. Yeah, and that was just a great job stepping up, you know, taking that long shot out. Like I Now, here's the second goal of this game. Carly Gamble lines up for the free kick, and NAU knows without a key scorer like Adrian Nix, like they had last year, it's all about having bodies in the box. Look at this beautiful arcing kick, and look, one, two, three, four, five bodies in the box for that goal. It ended up being number 11, Haley Van Allen, a beneficiary of girls in the box. Here's the play full time. Yeah, she's been doing a great job for us defensively holding that back line. She'll try to work it in oh, for nice a header here. In. And it looks another good like there you another go. <laughs> goal for NAU. And I oh, think this is perfect. that looked like number 11, Haley yeah. Van Allen. It was Haley. Susie, we've covered just about everything there is to know about this matchup. So, what's your key to the game? Well, NAU finding its scores. They've found ways all year, but there's no Adrian Nix this year. Their next, there's no go-to soccer, but NAU has continually put pressure on opposing teams by getting the ball inside the box. And I look for them to do that as well versus Idaho. And for me, for Idaho to break through, it's going to be they have to get past NAU's back line. We've yet to see, especially at Lumberjack Stadium, anybody be able to run past Amanda Bennett, Victoria Cooper on the outside successfully. Idaho will need to do just that in order to pull off a victory today. And watch out for the weather. That's going to be more of a factor than the coaches say. Well, the clock is ticking down. We're almost there. NAU, Idaho, stick around. We'll be back.